Did you see yesterday's vlog? It's a good one, all about Independence Day, freedom in America. It's uh, just great. Tons of kids, birthday party, good beer, and uh, yes, fireworks. So the vlog is starting at 4.15 p.m. looking over at my clock. Great uh, day, crazy, <laughs> a little bit of a catch up mode. We were out till 10.30 last night. Insane, we don't do that. way to the filming event tonight uh, but yesterday the 4th of July I wanted to share this story with you this little tidbit in American history but I just uh, ran out of time basically every year I share this story and I think it just is a reflection of bigger things bigger things that we cannot see with our own two eyes but that we know are out there in this world so what is it who were the two gentlemen who helped form the United States of America you know, 240 years ago, 241 years ago, I believe. Um, who are the two men that probably had the most influence? Okay, maybe you could slip Benjamin Franklin in there. He definitely was big, but arguably it was TJ and John Adams. Thomas Jefferson and John Adams. Those two fellas threw down. They, uh, they were good friends at the beginning, enemies in the middle of their lives, and best of buddies at the end. But the little tidbit of history that nobody really knows about is that... They died. Yeah, they died. They died. I know it's crazy. All right, hold on. Pulling in. Park here. Okay. Park. Park. Little tidbit of history, by the way. We parked safely. We're good. Okay. They died. They died. John Adams died. Braintree, Massachusetts. T.J. Thomas Jefferson died at his estate called Monticello in Virginia. And basically, um, this is a this blows my mind, and it's just like a reflection of things that we cannot see and that we are not in control of. But they died. When did they die? Within hours of each other. Within hours of each other, hundreds of miles apart from each other. And once again, they had become enemies in the middle of their life because of politics and they didn't agree on how the government should be run specifically. But then toward the end, they started writing letters to each other again and became friends again through letters and through communicating and through sharing their story and their experience with each other. And then they died in 1826. 1826, within hours of each other, on what day? July 4th. July 4th. The signing of the Declaration of Independence, which they had worked and strived so hard to form in the early days of the Republic. And then they, 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 they made it, you know, 40 more years into their life. And then they passed away within hours of each other, you know, hundreds of miles apart. Obviously, no commun modern communication. Hey. By the way, I'm not feeling so well. How are you feeling, TJ? Oh, you know, I could be feeling better, but I think I might kick the can today. No! There's no communication! And then they died on the same day, and it was July 4th. Does that blow your mind? Okay, I studied history at CU Boulder in college. It's like that, that, so this, it just gets me riled up, gets me riled up, and it helps uh, give me a little bit of inner peace for the future of this country and the fact that, you know what, there's a hand there. There's a hand there at the beginning of our country. All right, that is all. We've uh, arrived at the filming location, getting set up. We forgot, I kind of forgot, that uh, we're filming outside, which is fine, but it's a little toasty. So we have to deal with the, uh, the sun setting on the speaker. So, you know, just a little added challenge, a little ISO uh, juggle, juggle match. So, but we'll be all right. We'll be all right. It's a beautiful location. I was actually here last week for another talk. You probably remember that up there. Check out that vlog. And um, Joe's throwing down, getting his, uh, get, getting the zoom on. All right. Do you have? Uh, so I've got. Uh, let's see. I've got. I've got a card, but I don't know. Are you taking? Yeah. So how long? Let's see. So out with the old and with the new. Not on yet. Oh boy, oh boy, hey oh, hey oh. All right, it's, uh, it's a Wednesday night, 8.30, sun is setting rapidly as you uh, watch the time lapse go across your screen. It was going all afternoon as I was out working 
Thank you, Mr. Uh, time lapse machine, for getting the getting the sunset for you guys. A little beauty, but I'm going racing home to yes, give you what could be potentially one of the final updates for uh, the swamp cooler. I know, I know, uh, but it's I do believe I actually figured it out this time, and I'll show you why once I get home. But I got to race home because the sun is setting and. Bada bing, bada boom. This is the. All right, I have figured out the leak. Basically, if the water level gets too high inside the in the pan of the swamp cooler, it will start leaking into the house. Now, I have not found the actual leak. I have not figured it out. But over the last four nights, I have come up here on the roof and I have propped up the float so that no water can come in throughout the night because that was the issue was that the, the leak was happening especially at night when the water level was getting too high. Now I probably need to just get a whole new float and valve system. It can't do it now because all the stores are closed so my temporary fix temporary is to lower the level of the drain on the front of the swamp cooler so that the water level will just it'll just drain onto the roof if the water level is coming up too high throughout the night does that make sense and then another issue popped up uh, it's it's you know over the last week is basically the belt is getting too loose so i have a new belt i'm gonna try and put that on tonight as well wish me luck wish me luck all right home ownership love you love you home ownership seek beauty work hard love each other at least it's not going to leak into the house tonight eh? look on the bright side glass half full the swamp cooler will not leak into the house tonight because I did that work on the drain valve. But now I need to try and put a new belt on, tighten it up by moving this so that I'll have to wait till tomorrow.